Hi, I'm Alois Rosario. And I'm Jeff Plum from PingSkills.com and today we're going to look at the forehand push. Why do we need the forehand push? It's a useful stroke especially on the return of serve and to counter a heavy backspin ball when you're not in position to make an attacking stroke. Let's look at the basic things that you need to consider when making the forehand push. Firstly, like with all of our ping skill strokes, we talk about the legs. So you have your legs fairly square to the table or you can be a little bit side on to the table for the forehand push. The second thing is our start position. Making sure that you're starting with your bat laid back a little bit so that you can brush underneath the ball and counter the backspin. The start position can be next to you or a little bit forward of that. The third thing that we need to think about is to come forward, contact the ball and move your hand and your wrist just forward towards the ball, towards the net. If it has less backspin, you can think about coming more down towards the table. So your basics, your basic stance, starting with your bat laid back beside you and pushing forward with your fingers, your hand, your wrist, and a little bit of your forearm to make the stroke. With the forehand push, you can vary the amount of backspin you get on the ball by opening up the angle of your bat and coming underneath it. So for less spin, you have a more flatter bat, and for more spin, you come underneath in a more brushing action. Now getting more backspin on the ball is useful because it makes it harder for your opponent to attack that backspin ball. The forehand push is a very soft stroke. It's mainly just used to position the ball well to make it difficult for the opponent at the other end. It's not used to try and hit a winner. If you try and hit the ball too fast with your bat angled backwards, it has to go off the end of the table. So it's really important that with the push that you keep the stroke nice and soft. If this lesson on the forehand push has helped you, then go to pingskills.com where you'll find a lot more information about the strokes of table tennis.